What's up guys? Welcome back to the Sunday Drive. We have another short addendum video to our DoD Delete series. Today we're going to show you how to select the right oil alignment pump tool. Oil alignment, oil pump alignment tool for your GM motor. All right, so we are back in front of my new L83 block. As you guys probably know, my first one ran into a little bit of a problem, but we're back in here modifying the second block so that we can get the truck back up and running. And this time I decided to use the oil, lump, uh, oil pump alignment tools. So the first time didn't have any issues with oil pressure, the way we got it back in there, everything worked. So you can definitely do this job without it. However, if you wanna play it safe, you can pick up these oil pump alignment tools. However, um, they can be really expensive. So uh, there is an OEM style one, but it costs anywhere from $130 to $160, depending on where you purchase it from, uh, which is a lot more than I wanna spend. And there's a cheaper alternative. These are from ICT. We'll have these linked down in the description. They're only 40 bucks. Now this is not a sponsored video. Um, but when I bought these, I knew that they weren't gonna work from the reviews that I read. However, it seemed like there was a simple modification I could do to this and that would let it work. So the issue that people run into with this ICT one that's 40 bucks is that if you try to align it over on the passenger side of your motor, it hits the tensioner on the, the timing chain tensioner. You can see right there, like I can't line up these bolt holes because I'm coming into contact right there. Now over on the Driver's side, you can see this is how it's supposed to line up. It's supposed to lock the oil pump in place. So that's what we need to have happen over on the passenger side. So what we're gonna to attempt to do is just grind some of this away so that we can slip this underneath that alignment, um, underneath the tensioner, and we can use this to align our oil pump. And this will help save us anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks, depending on where you're purchasing it. So um, we'll have, again, these links. It really helps us out when you go through our links in the description. So we do appreciate that. But for now, let's try to grind this down and see if we can get it to work. So I went ahead and took a marker and marked out the rough area that I want to get away. This isn't an exact, but we're going to get into that area, check it and see if we need to remove anything else. All right, so we have this ground down. As you can see, we cleared the tensioner. However, if you plan to change out your tensioner like we did when we uh, deleted the DOD, um, you'll notice that this overlaps that bottom part of the tensioner. Now, I don't know if this would actually be a problem for removing it or not. You might be able to work around it. However, if you want, you could go and grind this down a little bit further right here, and that would allow you to clear the tensioner. Um, so you know the process now, go set it up with a grinding wheel and grind it back or take some sort of a cutting tool and cut this back. But as you can see, you can get this to work. Save yourself about 80 bucks. Um, you can pick this up on Amazon. We'll have it linked, as I said, in the description. Um, so you can get it to work and that is what I wanted to prove in this video. Um, now, as I said, you don't have to use alignment tools. We did do it without. However, you are definitely taking a chance if you don't use the alignment tool. So now that we know that we can get one for 40 bucks with all the money it costs to delete the DOD, you definitely don't wanna have your oil pump aligned. Um, it's not only to align this piece down here, while well, it does help with that, but actually the splines on here need to be aligned as well. Um, so when you take your oil pump off, and we can probably overlay some footage from our other install, but you'll, Notice that there's splines all in here and those are actually what need to be aligned properly. So it um, doesn't hurt to throw this on there for an extra little bit of insurance and $40 insurance is pretty cheap when you're tearing your whole motor apart. So hope this video was helpful. Um, if it was, let us know. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you back here next time.